They stole over 50 raincoats from other inmates and glue from the prison glove shop. The story goes that they saw an article in Popular Mechanics magazine about making uh, certain types of life preservers. And that gave them the idea that they had all this rubberized material that they could then shape into air compartments that could be inflated and then join together to make this 14-foot raft. They used spare material to make life preservers and fashioned paddles from prison plywood. Again and again, they just showed enormous engineering creativity and really smart planning. But now, a team of scientists have spent four years creating a computer model of the currents in the bay. As a result, they believe the men could have made it. They know that if the escapees entered the water on a falling tide, they would have been swept out to sea. If it had been on a rising tide, they would have been carried straight back to Alcatraz Island. But in theory, there is a short period between the changing tides when the three men could have reached the mainland near the Golden Gate Bridge. If you would have been here at this specific time, then you have sufficient time to, uh, to go to the shore. It's thought that the highly intelligent escapees could have researched tidal patterns in the bay and discovered that small window of opportunity. 